We're in the cockpit now, but let's cover a few essentials before flying out of the hangar and getting ourselves killed. The keyboard shortcut reference can be toggled at any time by pressing F9. The HUD reference can also be found in the escape menu, and the escape menu provides access to the options menu, which opens the gameplay settings, graphics, audio, controls tuning, and custom keybind setup. In the gameplay tab, you can customize elements of the HUD, toggle radar displays on and off, define the range at which player names are displayed for decluttering purposes, and change your in-game name. In the controls tab, there are some general flight model settings that will be active for new pilots. Once you're comfortable controlling the ship, I would recommend removing the soft speed cap and test out the automatic throttle for yourself. The HUD has three modes, automatic, combat, and exploration. Use F3 to cycle between them. Exploration mode displays all possible targets on sensors, whereas combat mode attempts to declutter the view so only targets considered an immediate threat are displayed. Automatic mode cycles between the two based on your immediate surroundings. Use F4 to cycle the control modes. Target is the default, which is best suited for mouse and keyboard. Direct is best used with HODAS, stick and throttle setups. And capital ship is, well, best used for when you're commanding a capital ship. F2 will switch the view from first to third person, and F1 will take you back into the default cockpit view. For a more immersive experience, press and hold left control to look around the cockpit, or to orbit the ship in third person view. You can quickly reset the view by double tapping left control.